Joe. <laughs> Last week we explored dock campsites in the North Island. This week we head south to take in the jewels and the crown that are dock's top southern spots. And here is dock ranger Rebecca Gibson, fresh from Barrier. <laughs> Hi, the flight Jeanette. over last night. Oh, it was fantastic. Oh, it's been Beautiful. A nice week of weather oh, so far. Summer eh? has yeah. arrived. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so we're moving south. We're yes. into the South Island and camp spots there. How many have you got down there? There's about 114 campsites in the South Island, and 40 of those are actually in the Marlborough Sound. So there's, yeah, quite a range there. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you think with camping, you're either a camper or you're not you know in terms of going to a dock campsite and setting up you're either going to be really into that or that's just not your cup of tea I mean what's well, on offer well definitely we've got campsites that probably would suit everyone actually yeah. we've got service campsites that have your hot showers and your um, cooking facilities and you also have your basic campsites so things that you just pitch your tent and you've got a toilet there and that's and it. That's about it yeah and you so, just have to do your own solar yeah. shower or something like I that I think deep down most kids have got that in a camper you reckon? You <laughs> reckon? So. absolutely yeah. Major differences between camping in the north and the south? I mean, I guess a camp spot's a camp spot, but your, your scenery would change a bit. It does, actually. And I mean, in the South Island, you've got more lakes and um, sort of river systems that yeah. we've got campgrounds close to, whereas in the north, it's more the beach the beach lifestyle. So, yeah, yeah so that's probably the major difference. Other than that, the price is the same, the facilities are the same. Speaking of which, it's, it's a fairly cheap way to have a holiday, oh, is it not? It's fantastic. I mean, on average, it probably costs a family of four about $30 a night to camp at a campground, like $10 wow. per adult. Yeah. Um, the service campgrounds are $15 each mm -hmm. um, per adult and yeah, seven fifty for children. And, so. and this is most certainly the silly season for camping coming oh, up. Oh, definitely, yeah. So yeah. what's the idea? And uh, you, you would need to book well in advance or would there still be spots available now? Well, actually we were looking on the website yesterday and there's still spots available around yeah. the country. So definitely if you're thinking about having a camping holiday, get into it. Go and have a look on the dock, on the dock website. You can book um, campgrounds online yeah so that's fantastic and when you get onto that website is there you can have a good look around and see what it is that you definitely. might be looking for if you haven't been there definitely we've got information about every campsite we've got in New Zealand on there there are yep. lots of people lots of campers who literally leave the campsite seven days 14 days after they arrive and book for the same time the next they year. They do. Can you do that? You can do that? You can do that, yeah. yeah. And also, quite often, if it's a popular campsite, we'll have a campground manager, so it pays to talk to them as well. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Camping is not usually a, a luxurious form of holiday. It's generally, you know, mm. back to basics and yeah. getting rustic. <laughs> but there are, you, there are your glampers. Can you, can you go glamping with Doc? Definitely. If you can drive to a campsite, I think you can go glamping. You can take everything. You can take the kitchen sink if you want. <laughs> if you yeah, want yeah. To. Are you I a mean, camper or are you a glamper? Oh, if, a bit of both, actually. Oh, yeah. As I get older, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like yeah. my um, solar shower and my, <laughs> my creature <laughs> comforts. Absolutely. Yeah. If you're not camping, though, if you're not um, bunking down in a tent and you've perhaps got a camper van, can you stay at a dock site? Uh, yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. You, um, camper vans, uh, some of the dock sites take them, some of them yeah, don't. Right. So obviously it depends on... Yeah, we go. Yeah, going. absolutely. And yeah. you just and you need to be aware that if you know it's a different way of travelling and holidaying and you need to be respectful for your, That's your fellow right. campers, I yeah. would imagine too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we're gonna run through a few spots, a few hot spots in the South Island. I'm gonna start oh. with the Momorangi Bay. Oh yeah. This yes. is the campground in Melbourne. It is. Yeah. It is in the Queen Charlotte Sound. Mm -hmm. So it's right in the head of the Queen Charlotte Sound. Beautiful spot. You can see the wharf there. And um, lovely swimming, you can drive right to that campsite. Oh. It's a serviced one. Right. Uh, there is campground managers there. So when you say serviced? That means it's got hot showers, yep. cooking facilities, there's a little shop there. Oh. Yeah, it's perfect. Just not to love. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. This is Pelorus Bridge Campsite, also in Marlborough. You say there's 40-odd yeah, around there. Yeah, there is. Yeah. So this is a bit different. Pelorus Bridge is next to a river. Yeah. Uh, beautiful swimming holes there. Oh. It's got two sort of areas you can camp at, one by a shop as well, and the other one a little bit further down the river. Um, amazing beach forests and things around Shots there. like that just takes you back yeah. to your childhood, doesn't it? It does, when actually. Life was so simple. <laughs> it was. You know, we had a swing ball and... Yeah, that was, that <laughs> we was entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> there was nothing that required no. technology or plugging in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, where's this one? Kerr Bay. Oh, yes, this Kerr is Bay. Nelson Lake. So that's actually the main wharf at Lake Rotowiti. So Kerr Bay is around the corner there. That probably looks like it there. Yeah. It's a beautiful campsite as well. And you actually get individual... Um, tent sites or camper van sites at that one. Individual? So, yeah, because they've got little bits of bush in between. Oh, that's quite and nice. And you can hear Kiwi at night. Oh, there. that was in the Nelson Lakes one. Yeah. This is Peel Forest. Peel Forest for your Cantabrians who want to yes. get out of the city for mm -hmm. a few days over the break. This How far is that from the city? Oh, it's about 140 k's mm -hmm. from Christchurch. Mm -hmm. So it's just north like of Geraldine. Yep. Yeah, beautiful yep. spot. That's and Mavora Lakes, is oh, it? From South Island? Yeah, Mavora Lakes. Oh, it's a stunning spot. 
oh, the Southland people aren't going to like me for letting them in on their secret <laughs> on this one. <laughs> oh, I know. It's, it's a bit like beautiful. Fishing, isn't it? Oh, yeah. clear water. It was where some of the Lord of the Rings trilogy was filmed. Oh, and you can see why. Yeah, it oh, was amazing. Fantastic, mm. Rebecca. Wonderful. Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Have Jeanette. Have fun out on the island. Yeah, come and, and even see you there at Christmas. <laughs> Sounds yeah. good. Thanks cool. so much. Good stuff. You could be cruising up to a campsite in style if you win this Nissan Juke. It's worth over $33,000.